Hi friends. So uh, I'm going to do a combination. Yesterday I went to the 99 cent store. I picked up at least uh, $18 worth of things. However, a lot of it was food items, so I put that I put it away already. But the ones that I haven't used yet was uh, are in here. So I thought I'd just share uh, these few things that I do have. And then um, I'm going to combine, um, I went to the thrift store on Saturday and then yesterday and just picked up a few things. I didn't pick up much. Um, I picked up like um, four loaves of bread from the 99 cent store. Boy, I don't remember what else I bought. Um, sheesh, I can't even remember. But anyways, this is what I purchased. I saw this hair mascara and it's for black hair. And you use a little wand and you're supposed to uh, do some touch up of your grays. And I do have like right here on my sides I have. And uh, I kept trying to pass it off as golden highlights, but I can't pass it off as golden highlights no more. Um, so it's, my hair isn't black. My hair is like medium to dark brown. Um, they didn't have any other color other than black that I thought. All right, whatever. I'm going to give it a try. 99 cents. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to try that. And then all I bought was um, just some of these binder inserts here. I need to redo our binder that I use for like our financial binder for all our household, um, you know, like utilities and mortgage and things like that. So I need to update that. So I bought these things, some little pocket binders. That way I can put like statements and whatever I need to do. So I got to create that. So that's the 99 cent store. Again, everything else was like tomato sauce. I bought tomato sauce. I bought two packs of frozen blueberries. Wow, I can't believe I can't remember what else I bought. And that was just yesterday. Anyways, it's basically food items. And then Saturday... I went to Gilroy to my dad's place. So he's almost like an hour and 22 minutes away from where I live now. And uh, I went there to pick up some more things of my mom's furniture to bring back to our place. And uh, we left at a certain time, which I thought I'd be able to go home and um, change. I didn't. I was, we were right in the middle of the city where I work and we had another 30 minutes to drive. Um, and I was going to be late. I only had like maybe 45 minutes or so before I had to start work and something and there was traffic and something told me you better get off get dropped off here at, you know here at work and uh, Don't even bother going all the way home and then coming back again to go to work so I had on my my track pants and my sneakers and just a regular shirt and I can't go to work looking like that so what I did is I had my husband drop me at the Goodwill, which is down the street from where I work. And I had to think quick and think fast, so I ended up purchasing an outfit. It's not the greatest outfit. I was in a rush, so all I found was these brown pants. And they have a little zipper on the side. And then uh, they're from the Dress Barn. They're brown, dark brown. And I just grabbed this shirt. I was in a rush. This is a charter club and uh, it's, it looks like it's dark green or maybe black. I can't tell. And then it has like a little gold shimmer in the middle. So I just picked those up and I couldn't wear my sneakers. So I had to pick up some shoes and I have to wear flats because it's easier just at work. It's called East Fifth. So this is the shoe I had. I chose. I needed some flats and there wasn't that many to choose from. So I thought, oh well, I'm just going to grab these babies. These were like $6. Everything total came out to like $13, including tax. So this was my outfit on uh, Saturday. So next time I go to my dad's and I have to go to work later that day, I'm just going to get dressed in my work clothes and go to in case something like this happens again anyways okay so then 
I went to the Goodwill yesterday. I saw a blue cardigan that I liked and another shirt. I think it was a blue cardigan. I liked it, but I I didn't love it enough for me to to purchase it. Uh, so I just walked around and I didn't see anything in Goodwill. I haven't been to Goodwill in a while. So the next store that I went to was the Good Samaritan. I went to Good Samaritan. Again, they had their 50% off um, and then 20% off the white tags or something. And um, I didn't see much there that I cared for. So I left. And then I went to the third one, which is called, um, oh boy, it's called disabilities or something for dis benefits for dis for people with disabilities thrift store or benefits for disabilities thrift store now i always have good luck there so i found some cute things so first off i found my husband this nice shirt it's by express and it's a uh, it's like got dark purple light purple and then a light gray stripes you can see that so this is I found him one other one by Alfani but I thought mm, maybe he might not like it and now I'm thinking I should have got it regardless if whatever so maybe I'll go back this week to get it if it's still there I think these are 250 I can't find my price my um, receipt um, so I believe those were 250 and then I found this cute sweater. It says Marumi. I've never heard of this. It might be like an independent or something. But it was it's so soft and it's so cozy. And I just had to have this. When I saw it, I thought, oh boy, you are mine. And it's really soft and has that weird like hair kind of thing. I don't even know what you call this, but it was so cute. I liked it, and uh, I picked it up. I think these were all two fifty. I think all these sweaters and stuff are two fifty. The shirts. So again, I I looked around. I didn't find much that I really liked. I only found one other thing, or actually two other things. And then I found this cardigan. You know what? Anyways. I found this cardigan and look I did just right now I'm noticing it has some holes in it I didn't see that but for 250 it's not bad because I have thread and needle and I can go ahead and uh, sew it up I'm not gonna wear it today anyways so I found this cute cardigan I need more little sweaters since it's not really cold but it still is chilly here in this area I thought I'd just pick these up and just wear them over certain shirts and stuff. So I got that. And then the last of the clothes I found was this cute purple shirt from the dress barn or blouse. Dress barn. And it's a nice, like a dark purple, royal purple. Love, purple's my favorite color. So this, so I thought this would be nice. It's cute, and I'd be able to wear like that cardigan over it once it gets sewn. Nice material, nice and lightweight, not too thick. And then that's it with the clothes. One other last thing that I found is this little, I don't know, a runner. My cousin's doing, um, this was a dollar. My cousin is doing a housewarming party for me uh, on April 9th. So she asked me if you find anything with lace to go with her theme, to go with her decor that she's going to be doing for um, the housewarming. She asked me to pick it up. So she has a lot of ideas in her head. So I saw this and it was just a dollar. So I figured, you know, I'd pick this up so she could use it. And uh, that's about it with all my 
with my 99 cents. So I did go grocery shopping yesterday to Food Max, but it's basically the same thing and I didn't want to make a video with the same stuff over again. So this is my uh, haul and um, I'll let you know how that uh, hair dye thing works out. I don't know where I put it. Here it is. I'll let you know how this works out, if it works or not. Um, looks like it's okay. I mean, it's carefully stroked through gray hair using the brush attachment, so shouldn't be that bad. And hopefully it kind of blends in with my hair. Maybe if I put like a lot of hairspray in my hair, it'll get more darker so this stuff can blend in. Okay, friends, so that's it. Um, I have to get ready to go to work and uh, thought I'd just pop in and put this little video up and see what happens next week when I go to the store. All right, friends, thanks for watching. You have a good day. Bye.